Okay, on the seven inch or eight inches, uh, three quarter inch PVC, I took and cut it down to a two and a six inch piece. That way, my bucket wouldn't overflow. So that is one modification that we did. Let's finish putting this bucket together. Do not glue the cap on. Okay, now the quarter inch hose, we cut it to equal lengths. Chance here. Pull that to the center. Center that up. No, center it up. Pull the center. Pull, pull it out to the center. Find the center. Okay. Now cut it right there in the center. And pull it to the center. Find the center. Right there. Cut it. Okay, cut the hose to equal lengths. I'm not cutting it. Yeah. Hold the camera. Okay, so you end up with four that are equal lengths. Okay, now we cut the holes so this fitting here will fit through and basically that's the order they go in. And what you should end up with is a nipple a barbed fitting sticking out of the cap. Which the inside of the bucket looks like this. Outset side of the bucket will be looking like this. This here is your overflow. Okay. Got the silicone gun. Cotton gun, right there. Okay. Right here, right here. Okay, put the cock right inside that lip. Yep. No, right here. In the groove.
silica, putting a bead of silicone. Around the lid. Okay. Put the lid on. The kitchen. Not that much sure of the house. Snap that lid on nice and tight. Lid should be permanently on there. Now we have four digesters. But as you can see, the wood's not on this one. Which will do a water test on it tomorrow. After all the silicone's dry. Which to plug our hose, we used a quarter inch bolt. We'll give you an update.